and you go crazy. DJ UTV, let them know who we got in the building. Yeah, Mimo 600, man. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Mimo, what you want, gang? We cool, and I got gang with me, real members, man. At least. This, this the real 600 with you? For sure. You know what's going on. Man, y'all in this mother deep as hell. What's going on, though, gang? How nah, you feeling tonight? We bullin'. What you got going on? Hey, happy new year to everybody, too. I know it's late in January, but it's still a new year. You know what I'm saying? Uh, new year. Yeah. We got a lot to discuss yeah. tonight, man. Yeah. You was on Clubhouse, you know, talking a little crazy about me, you know? Uh-huh. So I wanted to talk to you, you know? For sure. Uh, Plan to plot around the children, a bug out your uh, Man, so yeah, let's start there, <laughs> man. Let, 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 let's start there. So we'll go back a couple months. I did an interview with Charleston White. Make a long story short, everybody seen it. Charleston White pulled out a pistol. I came back home, and, and my whole city started going crazy on me. They said, how the f you let him pull a pistol on you? You let him disrespect folks in their mama, and, and, and Mimo 600 was the ringleader. So talk to me, Mimo. What, what was you feeling uh, at the time, It wasn't even man? no pistol, man. It wasn't even that. I know this would be a stage and shit. It was just a... Like, hey, it wasn't stage. I don't care what dude even told y'all. If it if it, even if it <laughs> one, though, you know how... You from Chicago. You let another motherfucker come over here from another state that disrespect us all year long, gang. It ain't like he just pick on other motherfuckers. He pick on Chicago specifically, gang. And it's like, you wanted that shit to be on your channel, like, you know? Not saying you as a blogger, but that's what bloggers do. They try to get themselves out there about a little bit shit. But that wasn't it, though. That wasn't the way to do it. You could have hit one of us, asked us how we feel. We closer to Vaughn, you know? So you feel like the fact that, uh, what I, what, that I had him on my platform to start with? Yeah, for sure. I yeah, respect that. that. You know what I'm saying? I won't go explain myself to Wack 100, but I'll explain myself to Mimo 600. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, sure. they do hit different. You know, we really from you the same city. Mimo 600. Ain't uh, that your the name? Other person. Oh, Wack 100. Oh, buddy, that was yelling at me butt naked on him. That's your <laughs> homie, man. Don't stun on him now. That's your homie. Y'all be on that motherfucker kicking it. So my homie, yeah. Wasn't that your manager at one time or something? No, nah, hell no. Nah. We was talking about it, though. But I'm saying though, this this is a real, this this is a serious topic, right? Because you know, I felt attacked when the whole Charles White shit was going on. As if you know, I've been outside uh, being a menace to society. You know what I'm saying? All I do is ask questions. No, nah, it was the joking part. You laughing, giggling, coming, you trying to hide it. You know? That's oh, when he said that that's funky ass bitch, that was funny yeah, yeah. as hell. What I you know. About? I know. That shit more funny to you? Yeah, I laugh. But that shit more funny to y'all when he said that funky ass bitch. That shit wasn't funny, y'all. I wasn't funny to Cap. Nah, I wasn't supposed to laugh. It wasn't funny, though, bro. <laughs> it was the, I'm telling you what it was, gang. It was the disrespect of the city, gang. It wasn't about who it was. Because you seen I got on there and said it was bogus for him saying the mama duck. I wasn't with that shit. All right, but what I'm saying is, what I'm trying to do with my, with my platform is establish some I ain't going to lie to you. They going to fuck you up. You don't you know live out here, do you? Who is? Uh, Gino. <laughs> Bro, what you, you wouldn't play alive like you did a joke. You don't live out here, do you? I live right here. Right here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you. You lying like a mother. <laughs> hey, so what I'm saying, though, bro, this this, this is my thing. You feel me? On some real shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm a journalist, right? You mm -hmm. feel me? And I had this conversation with rappers. You know what I mean? And you niggas talk about smoking tuba all day. Feel mm -hmm. how y'all think Tupac mom feel? For you know sure. what I mean, I just interviewed Big Lex. You feel me? So how you think he feel when he hear talk about smoking scrap? Who? I'm just saying, bro. You say I'm Andrew just saying. Lee? These are all people. You feel me? That got feelings for their loved ones. Nah, you say you just interviewed who? Big Lex. Who is that? Come on, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to be serious, man. I'm serious. I'll be knowing these people. Man. But what I'm saying is, bro, it's blood shed on both sides. Yeah. Feel me? I'm no, gonna... it wasn't even that. It was the the nigga be saying you Chicago. Ooh, it's, I'm telling you, it's not about who he dissing, bro. On Steve, he could diss well the fuck he want. It's how he coming at us, bro. As a Chicago, bro. Right. On so Steve, my that's... point is, you, that... you Chicago can stick out tough. You Chicago can yeah. stick out that. Ooh, and you allowing this. In your city, who you was, well, whatever the fuck you well, was. Well, look, like. this was, this my thing is, bro, look at how we treat each other. You feel me? We all grew up in the same neighborhood around the corner from each other. 
We outside killing each other. You know what I'm saying? I'm the DJ. Uh, we ain't killing nobody. I'm the DJ, bro. Yeah. Before I started doing it. You're going to say we killing us. everybody, but then you're going to say you the DJ. Bro. We DJ too. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I try to slide this up out of there. I hate you though. You Whoa. still ain't getting my. Uh, you get my part, but you Why going around. Get it. Mad? You I get saying? you. We disrespect each other, so why? Why wouldn't it be cool it for somebody else difficult. to do it? But it's not, gang. It's not. It's not even about disrespecting them. I keep telling you that ten times, gang. It's you, the city, it's man. The city, yes, bro. bro. You disrespecting the city as a whole, bro. I told you that on Clubhouse. Right. You making it a whole, all y'all disrespect each other, so why wouldn't it be cool for him to do it? I'm not saying Nah, it ain't cool for it's nobody still, to do it, It's still f***ing niggas. It's still doing nothing that he said. But it ain't cool for nobody to do it. You see what I'm saying? Two wrongs gonna make it right. right. My thing is, don't... I don't go around saying f*** where he from, Houston, or whatever the from, Charles, whatever the f***ing nigga right. from. I don't say that, you know? Right. There's, this nigga running around all day, f*** Chicago. Ooh. He don't get it to I'm flew, he say I flew them bitches out. He flew all them dead people from my mouth to, to to get on your camera and say I flew all them dead bitches out. Tell them how to send my money back. You think that's cool, gang? I don't think it's cool. What exactly, I'm is, gang. But what I'm saying is like how I take the heat for some that came out his mouth. Like you know what I'm saying? Man, like, that shit was all content for you, gang. I ain't gonna lie to you. That shit was all content for you. And like you don't like I know that. All content, all content. Right. So what the fuck you think this is? This is all content. You ain't doing shit by asking me. I'm asking you questions. You ain't answering them. Because I'm not slow. What the fuck you talking about? Slow? Like what I told you. No, you smart as hell. I thought you was gonna miss your flight. You ain't yeah. that damn slow. Yeah. You smart as hell. You know how to work your way to an airport. You know what I'm saying? So. Mm -hmm. Nah, you ain't that damn slow. I feel you though, for them. But you had to answer questions, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the way we work on DJ UTV, shit, you had to put on a show, you know what I mean? So, so what I'm saying is, bro, it's, it was a woulda, coulda, shoulda situation, you know what I'm saying? But my my objective, my platform is to where is to raise awareness of the bullshit that we keeping up in the streets. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'll be on some cool shit, man. I could have came in here easily. Tough. We could have put your ass in the Nelson, balled up the little light skin. Oh yeah, that's why I brought the security. Ball his light skin ass right up. You see how many ass it is, boy? We were, boy. I could have came like that, you know. Yeah. But I came. You came right. Yeah. That's I appreciate all. that. Yeah, for sure. You, you know? know what I'm saying? Like I said, you want, I was you want some question. content? I would have gave you some content. <laughs> yeah, well, would have been a new DJ Nate around this bitch. You know what I'm <laughs> Right together. Nah, 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 nah. That's that ain't nothing. We talk about Mimo tonight, and um, uh, you know, I, I just gotta. Uh, I like you, bro. Like, I think you got a lot of potential. You know what I'm saying? Sure. And I feel like if you just, you know, make a couple right decisions, you know what I'm saying? It'll lead you into the right direction to keep your shit growing, keep your shit going. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, I'm here to put on for the whole city. You know, I don't discriminate. I don't pick and choose. You know. I just want to represent, so that's what I feel like we did tonight. You know what I mean? I'm glad you came. We ain't got to talk all night. You feel me? You put that green ass outfit on. That was enough for me. You feel me? So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I'm you know what I mean? They bring cool, the J out. They bring the J out. The J they they brought the J out. The J they say miss. Them be nice, man. So. So, so you know, you know, you, you know what all the fans want to know. You know the story they want me to get about you. What's the story? You ain't, you ain't gave nobody the story yet. I don't know if you want to share with us tonight, but they want to know what happened with, with, with the rest of the chains. Huh? Well, they out here. We know that. They out. I'm about they out. We out here. We know they out here. Tell us what happened tonight, bro. The night, the night, the night you got a tour with some of your guys, and you know y'all was fighting and stuff. I never fought none of my guys again. Well, we, we, we know you ain't fight. That's what I'm saying. Don't make it hard for us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what happened though? <laughs> I'm listening. It's about we know you ain't fight. I'm, I'm asking good. you, man. Why you on that? I don't know, man. All right, what happened with the chains? What happened with the rest of the chains, man? The chains. Some of them at the store. Some of them got the that ain't around right now. You see a lot of them coming in. All right, so, all right, so, all right, cool. 
We saw we saw THF Zoo go on live. And say they had and he was taunting. Time. He said Mimo, he was calling you all type of shit. Mimo, what Mimo at? Mimo, tell Mimo. Mimo, Mimo. It was like finding Mimo around that mom. Yeah, tag Melvin, tell Melvin. Tell Mimo 600. Zoo said, come on live right now. Nigga. You, Melvin. Bring your ass on live. You want to play on the internet? You want to play on the internet? Nigga, we got this in 4K, nigga. What, we got leaking footage or something, nigga? What you talking about? Nigga, this for you. Ass, nigga, you out here playing like you crazy. You ain't crazy, nigga. Tell me, Mo 600, bring his ass in here so I can holler at him. What you talking about, nigga? Stop playing with my sixes, nigga. Phone them ain't fucked up at all, nigga. Phone them ain't fucked up, nigga. This shit around. This shit around, man. Oh, that's what he mad about? Yeah, that was for you, Mimo. You know what's going on. You ran, nigga. Okay. That's why I say we know where y'all at. Right. We was watching No Limit Cairo vlogs. We saw Steve drive chain on that motherfucker. That's all the way on Essex. I don't know what's going on. They probably bought that bitch out of the store. That's what I asked Cairo. I said somebody bought it or something. Yeah. I don't know. What'd he say? He, he thought I was trolling. I'm asking real questions. Everybody think, think, think I'm now, trolling. Now, now, yeah, you trolling. <laughs> yeah. You trolling. You see these faces, we don't play that. Hey. You don't want to tell us what happened. It does. I'm saying, I swear to God. That nigga gonna look like Ricky Smiley, oh, baby. Those little bitches right there. That nigga gonna look like Ricky Smiley. This one, I'm like interviewing the guys. I already be knowing what's going on. They don't not ask the questions. Nah, like what happened though? I can't say what I'm supposed to say. Uh, woo, woo, woo. All right, so look. All right, cool. Cause. 16 made a vlog about it. I know you don't f***ing bro. Yeah. Uh, but you know, all the vlogs were saying shit about it. Nah. That's because they going off their lives. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on. I can't tell you, bro. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna just share this with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, when it happened, motherfucker called me the night of. Yeah. Feel me? I couldn't believe it. I'm damn, what the f***? Whole time, guy, you don't even know. I always be on your side with you. You know what I'm saying? I'll be on side like, man, what the f***? Y'all don't do shit to nobody. Y'all know me. I come with peace. You know what I'm saying? I don't be on that. Like you know what I'm saying? So, I'm just like, damn, what happened? What happened? You ain't told nobody what happened. I thought you were going to tell DJ you what happened. What happened, DJ? I want you to tell me what you know. You know some shit we don't know. So you pulled up to the stool. Uh-huh. <laughs> what stool? Ooh. Come on, man. Don't be asking me all these questions, man. <laughs> you know I know. Uh, wow. Well, damn. I don't know what happened, man. Uh, I cool. wasn't. If you know, I wasn't. I wasn't there. If you know, I wasn't there. <coughs> all right. We gonna move on. Let's go back to six hundred. Oh, so look like Ricky Smiley with these glasses, bro. <laughs> right, did it. Hey, let's go back to 600, man. Let's go back to 600 Breeze, because Breezy made a comment saying that uh, Dirk Divide is 600. How you know he was talking about him? He didn't say that man's name. He just said niggas <laughs> trying to divide or people. He didn't say nobody's name. He definitely he, didn't say dude's name. He, so you can't throw no name on that. You, you, you right about me? that. Ricky. No, you yeah. right about yeah. that. Uh... Of course, that's what the blogs picked up, right? Yeah. That's where I got that from. Yeah. Everybody was saying yeah. it like... Yeah, you got to stay on YouTube. Okay, okay. You right, you right, the, right about that. These the real lifers on the couch right here. Oh, hold up. Yeah. So, Dirk didn't divide 600. No, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, cool. Uh, I got more questions, so, so don't think you... Keep you know what I'm saying? You can't divide. Keep the... Throwing them... So let's go back to Clubhouse uh, and your so Clubhouse crazy. shenanigans. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you told you told Lil Zay Osama, you said, nigga, you, you signed the dirt. That's what I did four or five years ago. Nigga, you late. Am I right or am I wrong? I mean, you. Hey, hold on. Let let me, the, before I ask my question. Am I right or am I wrong? That's what you did four or five years ago, but is he late? He on his time. That was your time Gang, back then. He was turned before me, and he still turned, overturned. You signed to somebody, bro. Okay. You should be trying to get you and your people signed. What was my reason for telling you ain't with OTL? You said you wanted to be by yourself. Well, he gonna sign with another nigga, bro. 
and you was turned as him. I ain't no hater or none of them. I applaud you, but I felt like it was backwards. I mean, you, you that sound the same way PGF Nook sound when he when he was sitting here, you know? He he basically said it like shit. He don't think Zay should have signed the dirt. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but don't you think that would be like a boost in his career? You know what I'm saying? Like when he got the dirt feature with that cousin's record, you know, your cousin, that kind of helped him out a lot. We could have kept a cue with that. Kept rolling. With the feature? Oh, yeah. You had to sign to him? Yeah, I mean, that's decent though. I don't, we ain't here to talk about dude, man. Right. I mean, we had to talk about what you got going on the clubhouse. So that was part of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He said he wanted to talk about club. I mean, because I know if I get on Clubhouse right now, Mimo on that motherfucker. You feel me? He ain't on that right now. He probably is. He yeah, probably yeah. got shit on mute right now. <laughs> and everybody know you doing the DJU interview. They like, what Mimo at? Oh, you yeah, doing the DJU yeah, TV yeah. interview. He'll be back. Well, tell us about growing up at 600, man. What's that? Uh, 59th to 60th in King Drive? Yeah, 58. I'll do that shit. Yeah. What, what, what was your uh, childhood like growing up? Crazy bad as hell. Just wanna do bad shit. Throwing throwing Brock's at buses riding paths. Just wanna get chased by the police doing whooping hypes, jumping on hypes and shit. They said they said they was whooping on you at Morgan Park. You lying like a motherfucker. <laughs> 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 you lying like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I was Steve Hey nah, well, I was bad as hell now. I got kicked out, I went to YCLA then. So as you originally from the hunters, then you moved to Yeah, Tom? yeah. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't like, what, oh, what, nine? Yeah. I'm not originally from the Hunters. I'm from 4950, the projects, the Robert Taylor homes. They knocked it down. Everybody moved out. We moved to the to the Hunters for a couple of years. Then we moved to the, you know? Yeah. That's all. Uh, so when you was at Margaret Park, ain't nobody? Hell no. Uh, we beat ass like Joe Jackson. You guys. I'm fucking You played any sports at Margaret Park? I know they was known for basketball. I played for, uh... Mustangs football team. I got kicked off. You can't wear earrings. The coach called me in the hallway talking to a girl with some earrings in my Kicked me off that. I was mad as hell. Yeah. So around what time did you uh did you start t taking rap series? I went to jail. I ain't I ain't like rap. I was just in videos. I went to jail. I saw my like breezy rapping. Six hundred breezy. Yeah. Okay. I was with the sh uh, Bobby Samurda, Fatty Wall. It was a lot of my. Came out when I was booked days low. So this is like 2015? Yeah, 14, 15, 16. Right. I got out, I started doing that shit. Everybody started telling me like that. Uh, I just got to running with that shit. First, I thought for them geeking me up. I was just, ooh, you know. But the world started with that shit. I started getting booked. I did like, what, 40 some shows? Yeah. Booked like a month. So you would say 600 Breezy inspired you to rap? No, I ain't say that. Okay. I said. <laughs> I <laughs> I didn't say that. I said I watched them, you know, go up while I was in jail. Like, you know, that's my boy though. You know. That's your boy. You know, I want to holler at Breezy, man. I'm trying to see what's to Breezy. I ain't interviewed Breezy yet. You know, I got a bone to pick about Breezy. Y'all know what the bone is? Somebody want to ask me what the bone is? Don't nobody want to talk on that subject. I don't fuck with it, bro. Was <laughs> I really want? I want to ask him, but I got a feeling I know what it is. Right, folks know what I'm talking about. I, I, I ain't even gonna say it. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna go on without, you know. Sure. Oh. I mean, yeah, that go back to what you're saying. That go back to what you're saying. What a brother huh? means to like that. That's it's about it ain't his. It ain't his. Somebody need to hold their brother accountable for taking care of his kids. Look, I'm talking about it ain't here. I knew that's what he was talking about. I don't see it. We don't got nothing to do with that. We don't I see that's what I'm saying. Don't nobody want to hold that man penis when he have sex. We don't know. We, you know. He know what he know. She know what she know. That ain't our business. You know? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's everybody responds to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. So like I say, you know, we, 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 we'll move on. You know. Mm. <laughs> But what I do want to know, uh, what I do want you to share a story about uh, is E Day, because I know E Day meant a lot to your hood. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, in all seriousness, right? Rest in peace to Cooper. Tell us about E Day and what he meant to y'all. Cooper, like, hey, that's a God to us, like, you know? So he meant everything, like, the world. Same as Steve to me, but, you know. So, is that like the official. Role model, all that. Is that the official founder? 
Of 600? For sure. Okay. For sure, for sure. So when we go back to the team 600 days, man, it was E Day, LA Capone, S Dot, Rondo number nine. That's it, right? Them the rappers you name it. Yeah, the team 600. Yeah, I'm the rapper. That what you name it though. The, 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 the rap. You asking right. Me? You asking me about the rappers? Yeah, I'm asking you about the rap. Um, you know what I'm saying about the music. You know, that was Team 600 when it first, you know, was really gaining notoriety. Uh, and then Rondo and C, they got locked up. You know, it was a whole bunch of you know stuff going on. It was more than that. You just that's just what you saw because that was the music. Yeah. yeah. So it was more than that. Plus what? No, I meant like more members. You said 600 was... Tell us the original 600 members. Because I know I'm forgetting some. D-Rose. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Too many to name. I ain't going to lie to you. It's a lot of y'all. Mm. But that's like the most legendary group out of Chicago, to, in my opinion. Yeah, for sure. You feel me? Yeah. Well, going back to the beginning of your, of your, of your rap career, man. Uh, I was watching a lot of your videos earlier, you know. Uh, you've been in the game for about, what, four or five years? Yeah. How long were you rapping before... Uh, you called Dirk attention and he became interested in signing you to OTF. I don't even remember. I think that was like, what, like th th two songs after, two, three songs after. It was that. early, right? Yeah. yeah. Now, when he when he pursued you as an artist, was it just you specifically or was it you and Just Blow like y'all was a duo? Yeah, me and Just Blow. Yeah. It was single, but he wanted both of us, so okay. we both was turned at the same time. It wasn't yeah. like, no, I want them together. Right. I was turned, Blow was turned, he came for both of us. Yeah, and um, free Just Blow for sure. I know y'all got a real close relationship. For sure. Tell us about your relationship with Just Blow. That's my dog. I, feel them. I talk to Blow every day though, man. What he looking at right now? Where he locked up in, in, in what they say he locked up in Lake County or something? Yeah. Blow for to come home, man. Real yeah. soon. So I bet. So so Dirk sign, Mimo sign, <coughs> Just Blow. 600. See, first of all, it wasn't even Dirt that came to sign me. D thing came to me. Okay. I've never had a conversation with Dirt on let sign. Let me sign you. I had a bond with D thing. Like he with me hard with my music. So he came to me like contract with him. You know all that type of shit. Right. So it was never like I signed with Dirt. I was signing with D thing type okay. shit. Okay. Okay, cool. See, that's, that's new information. You know, a lot of people yeah. think, you know what I'm saying, it was dirt. Yeah. RIPD thing, you know, that's, yeah. who, that's who put it together. So, but tell us what that experience was like, though, bro. When you sign, you know, they sign you for the deal, they give you the chain, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what, feature a couple songs or what? Like, what's that process like? Yeah, that shit was turned. All my features I got on my own, though. Like, I ran into niggas, they need my what's up? Ooh, let's do something. You know, but it was turned up. Yeah. Nice experience. Tours, the tours, all the. Yeah. And what were some things um, that you were able to learn from being around Lil Dirt? Uh, shit, that I rap like freestyling on right, all that. Shit. Learn yeah. how to punch in, yeah. Mm -hmm. He go right in there, do his thing, go crazy. So how did things go? You know, downhill from signing to being released. <coughs> Cause I want to do my own thing. I can't be under nobody too long, you know. You don't, they basically clash, like, you know, two people. I want to be my own boss. I don't want to be under no man my whole career, like, you know. Right. That's moving backwards, you know. Nobody's turned, propped. I'm, you feel me? I, I respect everything he do, everything he did, but it's time for me to be a boss myself, you know. Yeah. So, so that was the inspiration behind that song, Nobody's Property? No, that was just letting y'all know. You lying. Stop lying. I was just going to tell you what it meant. <laughs> that just let y'all know I ain't no nigga property. Right. So you know the fans was going crazy, like man, well Mimo ain't signed to OTF no more. What happened to the OTF chain? Did you have to turn it back in or what? Hell no, nah, man. Still got you don't wear that much. Nah. I ain't signed to the label. Why would I wear the chain? Right. You went and got your own joint. Yeah. It's gonna blow right up. Huh? It gonna blow. Right blow? Up. Yeah. We can't see you, bro. Uh, yeah. Well, he on uh, video chat. He probably on that doing push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> he took a hold
Well, he on the camera or what? Yeah. <laughs> hey, my man, blow right here. Go, go, put him on camera. Put him on camera, oh. He told me, do I get a cut out of this? <laughs> you know he gonna say something to you, blow. I don't even know how to divert. Say something for the camera, blow. Okay. Free blow, man. Free blow. Free blow in that motherfucker. Don't say that to a push up. <laughs> so we know uh, Step is being one of your biggest songs, but one of your real biggest songs is Exposing Me featuring King Von. Yeah. Can you tell us about your relationship with King Von and how that record came about? Uh, that's my brother, man. Shit, he heard this shit, he wanted to hop on that bitch. We got it, got it together. Uh, turned the city up. Just the trust the city, the world. Shit. A lot of motherfuckers remix that. So the original version is just you? Yeah. Or it's you and Vaughn? No, just me. Then Vaughn? Yeah. And then everybody else started reading? For sure. Okay. So it was your song. For sure. Yeah. Uh, that's a big record. Mm -hmm. Fib, can you tell us the concept behind it? How did you come up with it? Uh, I was going through a lot of shit. Like my, my little brother had just got killed. You know? Like, I, I, like all my songs are freestyle. That's the only one song I wrote. I wrote so, that like five in the morning, just sitting in the crib, getting high. Yeah. So when you wake up in the morning and you and you and you get online and you see your ops done made a remix of your song, what was the first thing that that that, that you thought or you know? I ain't think shit. I just lied. I saw it because it was just. Did you listen to it immediately, or did you scroll past it and then have to spin back on? I mean, I, I like it took like three days because I was on some them type. Kept saying this shit, so I went to listen. Right. And I saw a couple, couple of my up ass little cousins in there too. And they little ass up. But, yeah. You know, uh, Ruger just made a post on, on Instagram about how he, you know, damn near wish Chicago could come together. Who? Know? Ruger. Who? It says his name again or what? Who? Who is that? Okay. Who the yeah. fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> Never heard of him. Okay. Well, a Chicago artist, uh -huh. you know, he made a post on his Instagram wishing that, you know, everybody would come together. Do you think Chicago would somehow establish some unity? Uh, it can happen, yeah. For sure. I feel like it can. Mm -hmm. I feel like, I feel like... They got Lori Lightfoot on the phone. You think she gonna do it? Yeah, more we get I don't know if she can stop the violence in Chicago. No, Neil, she just Hey, but tell us about the whole clubhouse craze you got going on right now. I just know a lot of people in the in the city, man. The whole Chicago be on that, so it's like being outside with everybody. That's all. Shit. You be on that motherfucker getting into it with everybody. You got, you got a lot of haters, you got a lot of... You know, my mouth slit. I don't be in tour with people, I just be talking you know, to So let's start there, bro. Let's let's start with your mouth. Because I asked I ask a couple of guys, I say, man, why everybody be on that with me more? Why everybody be calling me more goofy? Like, you know? They say, man, it's his mouth. That's nah. what everybody say. That's because I speak the truth. Okay. I don't like that. They be trying to keep shit on the hush. Sweet service out of the world. That's what they mean by his mouth. Okay. And you know a lot of people can't handle the truth. That's all. That's why a lot of people mad at Charles and White. Folks be, folks be speaking the truth. No, he be uh, trolling his shit. Like all that dead people shit. You know how that go. You don't think he be speaking the truth at all though? You ain't heard no truth come out of his mouth? Or you just pay attention to the board. No, I hear all the shit he say. Yeah. I be laughing at certain that that's funny really. I just don't like that disrespect. 
So tell us about Mimo, man. We see you got the whole 600 here. Uh, obviously, that's where you from. We see the Steve Drive on your on your on your, on your chest. Mm -hmm. We just interviewed McAdoo, and every other sentence or every other word he said was uh, on love, Steve. Yeah, that's my boy, Free Mac, man. Yeah, I asked him, um, you know, what does Lil Steve mean to you? Because he kept on saying on Lil Steve. He said Lil Steve meant everything to him, you know? And I know that was your blood brother, so can you tell us what Lil Steve meant to you? I ain't no, no words to explain, though, like, you know? Too much, like, the world, though, basically. What's y'all age difference, bro? I'm five years old, man. Okay, so that's your little brother for yeah. sure. Uh... What was it about Lil Steve that made him so special to 600? You gotta ask them. I can say if you ask as a brother, you said it's 600, you gotta ask them. Shit, as a brother, he meant like, you know, like, you know, <coughs> growing up with motherfuckers bad, just running around doing shit in the hood, you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't really say what a brother is. Like, you got a brother, you know what a brother is. Mm -hmm. sure. Put a little label in this shit. A brother, <coughs> what you gotta do for your brother. Man, right or wrong. Your brother man. mean lots. We can fight right here, right here, right now. You walk out that door, but nobody <coughs> can. That's what that is. It's an obligation, man. Ain't no turning no back. None of that shit. But I guess what I'm asking all of y'all is, what made Steve so special that y'all had to name the hood Steve Drive after he passed? A lot of shit, man. He hugged that block. You'll see him out there all day with, sitting on a crate or something. Or doing something bad as hell, running through that bitch. You can see a 13, 12. I'm still a lot. And so with you being his big brother, you know, your relationship is tighter or closer, you know, than, than anybody else. You know what I mean? Um, what type of emotions do you go through, you know, knowing that he's gone? Uh, what, 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 what's some things that you miss about him the most? Everything. It ain't no certain thing at all. Bad, good, shit, all that shit, you know. Where? So the, uh, you know, the trending topic in hip hop right now is, of course, the Young Thug, YSL, Gunner situation. You know what I'm saying? We done had a few guys on the on the, on the couch. They say. Gonna snitching just a little bit, but uh, is gonna snitching a little bit or a lot? Okay, he snitched when he said certain questions they asked him. They asked him, like, uh, when you were in a car with Jeffrey and we found the gun and it wasn't yours, yes, ma'am. Yeah, who else is it? <clears throat> if he didn't say the same, shit, you snitch. If y'all both went in there and said, No, it wasn't mine, that's not snitching, but he getting that now. It ain't mine. Certain questions, is y'all a game instead of a, what do you say, a label? He yes, Oh yeah, that's snitch. Yeah. We don't gang bang. How you think Young Thug feeling in them right now? I don't know, shit holding his head up. They trying to pass him a Percocet. Both need to get high. <laughs> <laughs> that looked like your ass with a suit on. <laughs> it is. I thought they had you. They done fucked up the interview. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, so do you think uh, in 2023, Snitch is getting a pass? Hell, I mean, not, not no, I don't know, man. No Snitch is getting no pass, but they trying to make Snitch a cool to keep the violence down. I understand what you're trying to say, but no. Nah, no, nah, I'm asking, for real. No, nah, hell no. Nah. I don't condone the Snitch. Because it seems like a lot of niggas, you know, kind of skating with that. You know what I'm saying? Like who? Uh, well, you know, they had the real Boston Richard situation. Uh, is, that, is that paperwork real? Did all that come out? I don't know, but I feel like the fans don't care. I'm saying, but do you? is it real? Bro, I'm be, I'm so you can't know. call that man a snitch until but, you find out this shit is real, bro. I mean, that's true. I don't be calling nobody that shit, you know? I'm just, I'm just saying, I feel like the fans, they don't care either way. Uh... So, so, so after the gunner telling, or the gunner teller, what they call it, right? Um, Dirk make a, uh, he made some song, the snippet go online, he talking about, 
<laughs> what happened to Bird? He's probably gonna tell some, some, some bragging about Melvin. You know what I'm talking about, bro? Yeah. He was talking about you on that song. Oh no, it's a lot of Melvins out here. Right. Cause I didn't understand what that part meant. Did, oh, you the only you? Melvin. But did you understand what that part You the only Melvin that Dirk know. You the only Melvin I know. What that part meant? Hey, ain't this nigga the only Melvin everybody in here know besides Wine and W. Hey, you know who you, who you well show up? Your ass look like skin bone. <laughs> oh, fuck them great, do Nah. Your ass look like skin bone. I don't know what he meant by that, though. That's all right. That's a lot of Melvins. He could have been talking about baby boy. You know, dude. Cracking that nigga mama all through that. I would have said some shit like that too. Nah. Uh, so you don't feel like he was talking about you though? Now why would he be telling me? Nigga, if you was on Clubhouse right now, you would have felt like he was talking about you. Well, why so you how, how about that? How you gonna chase that shit on Clubhouse but be, but be modest in your interview? You supposed to be chasing that hey, shit man. in the interview. <laughs> hey man, you ain't hear me chasing that shit on no Clubhouse. Oh, you be on Clubhouse going crazy. Yeah, but you ain't hear me So you shy that. right now. Nah. All right, so everybody, this is Mimo being shy. <laughs> It's cool. We still go, you know, nah, go you, through. You, you he brought the real six hundred yeah. members with him. You met me that day on the fans game. gonna be happy to see Cap. They gonna be more happy to see you now. Nah, you ain't talking. Yeah. about <laughs> <laughs> They got me over there tweaking with you. That's what you want. No, 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 no. I just want you to, you know, I want you to tell us what's been going on, man. There's been a lot going on. Me more six hundred in the headlines every other week. <clears throat> I don't know why. I be chilling. I don't mess with nobody. Nah, you be on Clubhouse going crazy. But let me ask you this though. What's up? Uh, were you getting ready to sign to Young Dolph before he passed? Yeah, for sure. I was signing the paper right there. Yeah. Tell us, tell us about that, cause I know a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, uh, shit. Uh, I had a link with him through Instagram. Went some Instagram. We, we DM him back and forth. He linked up with me in the line, and we went to the studio. Chill. Yeah, since then we've been kicking it. He was asking me what's going on with my paperwork. How can we, what do I want to? And then the tragic news happened. You know, the tragic event happened. Yeah, yeah. He was like, "Damn, huh?" So what's your uh, what's your what's your current status with your rap career like now? You you still ain't dropped a tape yet. No, well, I'm none of this. Somebody put your songs together, and made a mixtape on Spinrilla, huh? Yeah, I get that shit yeah. took down. But uh, I'm getting something together now. Now we're gonna do like a little compilation tape or something with all us. Yeah. Be hard too. Yeah, I know you got a good relationship with um, Lil Uzi. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He jumped on the jump record with you. You feel me? Uh, what's some future goals and aspirations for yourself in this rap game? See, just get to the top. Get better than better than what I was. Keep getting better than what I am. That's all. I know I'm gonna get better, so get better than better. Get better than better. You know? That's all. It's sure. easy. Just be yourself. You know? Yeah. Can you tell us who your uh, top five drill rappers of all time are? What you drill like? Y'all, y'all be having different definitions of drill though. Your definition, not uh, mine. I say like, swerve, smirk. I was for raw forty nine. Who else? ESTG. Hold on, we talking about top drill rappers. You gonna throw Rod Forty Nine in there? Yeah, folks got this. I don't listen to niggas. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't think he understood your question. Guys. Yeah, I don't That's think he understood. Who is my top five drill rappers? I don't listen to no, rap niggas. Period. The, the past. I'm like, talking about. I'm overall. I mean, right? I don't you listen to that. rap niggas. Uh, I don't listen to niggas. Nigga, you talking about Rod Forty Nine? That's, That's it, a rap nigga. I ain't never listened you to. You gotta have a catchy song for me to listen to you, gang. That's all. So make that ass clap. You like that shit yeah, when you said yeah, that. Yeah. That's what I this got some booty shaking ass yeah, nigga. You, right. yeah. <laughs> you like that part. Yeah, I don't listen to rap niggas though. Like ESTG, like, you know? Yeah. He don't make really drill music. He makes shit about hustling and shit too. You know? Yeah. And hey, um, what you think about that temper tantrum from um, 21 just had on Clubhouse though? I was on the. What? <laughs> I was on mute the whole time, live for like a month. Because I feel like a, a, a artist of his usually, caliber. Usually I be on that bitch instigate. Whoa. But I told him the day before that, like, I wasn't going to get on Clubhouse. So I snuck on that bitch on another page and just listened to him live for that. Let me find out this nigga two, three Clubhouse. I'm on that bitch live for that. <laughs> he, 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 man, you think, oh, yeah, boy, y'all ass crazy, bro. I was doing that, though. 
Yeah, because I'm like, man, an artist of his caliber, you know, shouldn't be No, artist. he usually don't do that, though. Right. He don't do that. He'll tell your ass to get on. He'll drop you and get you out of the room. Yeah, that clubhouse is kind of kind of scary, Yeah, man. so once you bopped in the room, your ass got jumped on. One more moment, y'all so got on that What you would have been like right that? <laughs> they said, that's woo wah who? I get right on your ass. Who? That's funny how y'all be doing that. For sure. So moving forward, man, Mimo 600 is 2023. Uh, we know by his property. You know what I'm saying? Looking good, I ain't gonna lie, no homo. You know, you can't be looking good, you know? So you, you can't be too fucked up. You got a DJ UTV interview. You can't be too fucked up. Too? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's fucked up. So. Hey, but tell us, you know, what to look for, you know? I got an album on the way. I got a, uh, I told you, a compilation tape, me and my homies. You know, we got a lot of on the way, man. Clothing line from the drop, all type of shit, man. Yeah. Just be, just be looking. I got you, Oscar Pratt. Hey, Cap, you know the fans want to hear from you. You ain't never did no interview. <laughs> if we if we pull up Reddit right now, they got hella stories about you, all type of shit. No, nah, I ain't talking. They ain't going. <laughs> I know. I know. <coughs> I'm just here, man. I support my brother, man. I ain't no man. Your, 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 your voice, your presence is felt. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you just, it. Man. Uh, Tell us how you been, you know, tell us how you been living lately, man. How you been feeling lately, you know? I've been decent, you know? I've been decent, you know what I'm saying? I'm chilling in this shit, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get through this shit. You just Filling got out not too out. long ago? Yeah. How long was you locked up? Like six months. It wasn't nine. It was like oh. six months. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't nine. That's what's up, man. So Team 600 still standing strong? Don't you see us? I'm glad to see y'all, man. I'm glad everybody came to help. I'm glad you brought everybody. Hey, he had to look like this. This ain't the idea, buddy. The folks said he was bringing at least 10 people through. What I said, I said, okay, let me make sure I got enough food for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Something to drink for everybody, you know? So when niggas know when it's a DJ UTV interview, you know it's going to be a vibe. You know what I mean? But I uh, appreciate you coming out here with us, brother, you know? Sure. You ain't had to, but you did. You know what I'm saying? Congrats on your newborn. You feel sure. me? And uh, like I said, man, you know, at the beginning, uh, when two have differences, you know, it don't have to resort to violence. You know what I'm saying? Sure. We can talk about it. We can chop it up. We can do business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it different. At the end of the day, it's all love. You feel me? And um, I appreciate you, Mimo. You feel me? I appreciate your expression of your emotions and your thoughts. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you got on my ass and you got on my ass the right way. You know what I mean? So, uh, to my city, right? You know, don't, um, you know, don't, 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 don't be too hard on me for the Charleston White incident, man. You know, shit happens. It was out of, it was out of my control, you know? Uh, but we here and we gonna keep on uh, moving up, keep on prospering. Mimo 600, Team 600, or whatever I call y'all self nowadays. Nico gang, 600. Nico gang. What, what's, what's, the new, what's the new names? I know y'all got some new names. Nico gang, 600. Nico gang? We just for that shit really mean something. Like, that shit ain't just no we name now, nah, stuff and shit. Like, that shit mean something. Else. Right, that's what I'm saying. So let me get it right. Nico gang? Nico gang, yeah, 600. All of us. Sure. Right, that's that. DJ UTV. Shout out to Royalty Productions. DJ, you go crazy!